Welcome to another Disney Infinity 3.0 tutorial. In this clip I've created a Hydra base uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put security guards to walk up and down the battlements uh, and your objective is to sneak into the base, take out the guards without setting the alarm. That allows us to get into the centre of the camp and get down to uh, the underground level where there's a Marvel objective. So what I want to do is just show you how to get the guards to wander the patrol uh, and then how we can take them out and by taking them out we have a certain time limit before they set the alarm. So before we do all the, the guards we're going to do what is the alarm. The alarm is going to get every single enemy to appear. So I'm going to go into my creativity toys and I'm going to go and find the enemy wave generator and I'm going to place this down here by the base. So when the alarm goes off all the enemies start to appear. Right, so I'm just going to put this down here on the screen. So there's my enemy wave generator. Now I want the enemies to appear throughout the base because you may infiltrate the base in whichever area that you want to do. So depending on where you are, they're all going to appear. So I'm going to use locators and I'm going to scatter these all around the base where I want the locators to appear. Now be careful, the more locators you set up, <laughs> and that's the problem, the more you set up, the more you actually have to do the connection to. So I got a bit carried away in this clip as you'll notice. But you then have to set all the links up. So I want some enemies to appear over here. And I want some enemies to appear here. So they appear like as they come out the, the uh, tent. And I want some more enemies. So they all appear throughout the base. Now while I set this up, I'm, uh, I'm not going to mention anything about uh, Disney Infinity cancelling the, uh, the development of this program. I think it's absolutely ludicrous. Uh, but I'm going to continue doing clips, so you'll still see clips coming from me, so don't worry about that, I'm not going to stop. It just means we're going to have to become more creative on our clips. So there might be a slight delay between the, uh, the clips, not as regular as I've been doing as I try and work out different techniques that we can use within these toy boxes. So there you go, I did mention about Disney Infinity 4, but oh well. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to that, to that on, an, on another day. So there you go, I've set up all my locators. So what I'm going to do now is for my enemy wave generator, I'm going to have to click on the square button, go to locator and connect to that particular locator. And I'm going to have to do it to every single one that I've entered. So I want an enemy there, go down to a new locator connection and I'm going to go to each one. Okay, so, I'm so I have to go through every single one on the list. Now at first glance you think, oh my god, it's going to take me forever and it's not a particularly long job. Now I've, I've kept all this in the clip, purely in fact to show you it doesn't actually take that long. As you start doing it you think, oh this is going to take forever, I'm not going to bother. But if you realise it, it, it's very quick to do so, and you get the cool effect that they're spread throughout the whole base. Now, I'm using spark mode now, I'm getting used to this as I say, you'll keep me ranting about this spark mode. Uh, but it allows you to fly through it quite quickly, it's a new Laker to connector and I'm linking each one of these up to this base. Now, uh, if you want to jump uh, to the end of this clip to see what the end effect, uh, I, got, I do a little walkthrough around about 19 and a half minutes, and then I do one another one around about 21 and a half minutes. So if you want to jump to those to see the end effect, just to see what, what we're trying to achieve, you can go to that particular part. So the enemies appear here when the alarm goes off. Now we could add to other effects like having an alarm going off, having a siren going through. Um, but obviously the more you set up, the longer these, like, these items take. But we'll just go and connect all these up. So we'll carry on finishing these little connections up. Now while I carry on going through there and setting every point up, so I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail what we're going to do with the security guards. The security guards, um, what I want to do is, I want to have it that while I walk along a, a particular route, I'm going to highlight a certain area with the security guard that stays with them. So if you get too close to that guard, they will hear you stop, and then they are going to either attack you, and if we don't take them out in time, the alarm's going to go off. Now, I was playing a game in the arcade mode called Infected, and there was a thing where, you, like a, um, a radius, like a yellow radius, appeared around your character once you're your enemy was injured at all. So I wanted to use this effect to give the guard, this is the, the radius that the guard can see. Now sadly we can't change the radius, we're only fixed to a certain size which is a bit disappointing but it still gives you the cool effect to let the user know that this guard has has an area not to get too close 
and we can point that out. So as we go through, you'll see that as that happens, what we're using on this screen. But we're almost finished now connecting these um, locators. So that finishes cross. And I thought I'd do, and now going back to this point, I thought I'd just show you all these because as I say, it doesn't take too long to do. It gets them all connected up and I'm gonna have enemies scattered throughout the entire base. You just remember which ones you've done and which ones you haven't done. It's new locator connection throughout the whole lot. Now, also, I think the design of this base is a little bit too big. Uh, and for the tests that I've been doing around, if you see the size of this toy box, none of your toy boxes should be bigger than this. Okay? Because the more details you add to your toy box, the, the more graphical memory you're going to need to use and the more logic it's going to take up. So from playing around from different, different toys, uh, some I've done real massive toy boxes. I think this is probably as big as you'll want to get. There's a big enough space. You don't realise it doesn't seem big enough, but there's a big enough space and also that you can um, add more detail to the actual level. So if you look at the size of this, tend to keep your levels about this size and tend to always try and put them like, on a, like an island type effect, which works quite well. Uh, the one thing I would do different to this, this particular castle is the gradients get in the way. You can't do things, they get really annoying. So you'll see where my center keep is on a hill. I'd have done that on a more of a, like a cliff ridge that you had to climb up on it. So uh, I'd have got rid of the slope. I was trying to make it look like a castle, but I'm not gonna do it. Right, so they're now all set up. Uh, and what I've gone now is gone back to my enemy wave generator and I've now gone into configure wave and I've now selected the enemies that I want to appear. Now I've chosen Guardian Gal Galaxies guards and they look more like uh, Hydra people so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to change these, uh, set these to different levels. So I'm going to have three big guys, probably five, every in fact, no, I'm probably going to put five of everybody actually. So I'm going to set these all to five. And they'll just spawn all over the place when I set the alarm off. So that was going back to the connection and setting these up. So bring these all up. So they are now all five. So this is my enemy wave generator and all these enemies are going to appear in those locators so I've now set up my my wave and what I need to do now is go to the properties uh, delay when do you want them to appear I want them to appear immediately so I'm going to bring that straight off to zero so change that down to zero uh, and I want them to uh, where is it R uh, random locations no don't random locations I've got them to the locator so I'm quite happy with that so that is now set up my enemies will now get ready to kill the base now what the problem is, once you set the alarm off, I want it to be continuous. So I'm just going to show you now how I can get this alarm to appear continuously on the system. So just hold there for a second. So that's how it links up an enemies on the screen. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to bring in a logic gate. So I'm going to put this logic gate into this system here. And what this logic gate goes at the side, it means, basically means that when you defeat the entire wave, I'd like you to send a signal into that logic gate. So I go back to my spark tone, let's go back to my enemy wave generator. So if I go to my logic, my new logic connection, what I want you to do here is, so I'm gonna connect there, when the wave is defeated, so we've defeated the wave, destroyed every single one of those security guards, yeah? What I want you to do is I'm gonna input a signal back into that uh, logic gate. Okay, so that's now set, logic gate open, can you input a signal? And what I'm going to do there is, can you then send the signal back to the enemy wave generator, so new logic connection on output, and can you regenerate the wave? Because once the security guards are aware that you're here, I want them there forevermore, they're constant. Yeah. So therefore it's vital that you don't get spotted. Yeah. And that will just carry on a loop, keep generating the wave after wave after wave after wave till it's done. So, now that we've got that done, now it comes to the gritty part. Now actually let's get the uh, security card walking around on the top. So, what tools do we need to get this to be uh, to work? So I'm going to place these tools here, scatter me on the side. Uh, and the first thing that we need is an enemy wave generator. So let's move this across. Where are we? Right. We need an enemy wave generator. I'm going to stick you here on the screen. Okay. We're all going to also need a radar marker. That is going to give us our area where the enemy's bat, uh, what we can't go into. I'm going to need a dynamic trigger because if I walk into a certain area, then I'm going to get killed. Okay, I'm also going to need um, a time delayer. Okay, so that's my time limit I'm going to need to get the guard killed. And I'm going to need a logic gate to 
send the signal through. So that's all the particular items that I'm going to need on this particular list. I'm also going to need a logic gate to trigger all these items off. So when I fire a signal here, that sends all the guards off. So that's going to be my starting trigger that sends all these records across on the screen. Okay, now the other things I'm going to need are my locator and path tool. So let's go across here, keep going back. Right, right let's get our locator. So when we start this level, I want my guard to appear here on the top of the battlement. Yeah, so that's where he's going to appear. And now I've got to set the path I want the, the guy to work. So I'm going to move the guys. I want him to walk along this particular path. So when he appears, he's going to join this path and he's going to walk around these lists. And I just unlocked these castle parts within the toy box. Right, so there's my castle coming through. And he's going to walk down here. Now I'm going to do this several times for other guards, but this is the one guard that I'm going to have, and he's going to turn around and walk back. So he does this side, so that's going to go there and on the back of the screen. Okay, so that's my path tool. So that's everything I've got need set up now. We'll do is set the logic. So let's go down to my any wave generator. Okay, so when that signal comes from me, I'm going to say, right, in this enemy wave generator, can we connect to where do I want it to appear? I want this enemy to appear in this location. Okay, so I'm going to connect to this uh, locator. That's where the enemy is going to appear. Okay, right, now if I go down back to the enemy wave generator again. What I'm going to do is say path connection. Right, and when it, when it then spawns, I want that enemy to then start walking on this path straight away. Toy box path and it's now connected to that path. Okay. Now, if I go to the properties of that path, what I'm going to tell the speed is, and we worked it from my execution clip, that a walking pace is around about 25. So I'm going to set that to 25 there. And so we know that when they join that list, they're going to start walking at 25 on the speed. Okay, so that is for my enemy connection there. Now, if I go to my configure wave, I can add various guards. Now, I played around with this by putting three or four guards appearing, uh, and the only problem is the logic only really worked on the last guard, so only this, this only actually works for individual guards. Now, I could use different people, but I'm gonna use the uh, Guardian of the Galaxies one. Here we go. I'm gonna use one of these, these guards here that's got the gun that's gonna control, control the, the, uh, the battlement. Right, so that's my configuration done. Now, if I go to the properties of the uh, enemy wave generator, I want it to happen straight away. I don't want any delay, so I don't want four second delay. I want to go straight away, set that up so it, it spawns straight away. And on the toy box path, I need to change the, the movement style, and I want to go back and forth, so they're going to walk up and down that particular unit. Now, beware, if you had more than one guard, when they bump into each other, they get stuck. So if you are having more than one guard appear, then make sure it's a circular path, not an up and down. Now, the difference with this radar connection here, what we're going to do here is, I'm just going to switch this on. We are going to go and say this beacon is of a yellow ring. Okay. And if I switch on, it looks like that. So it gives you an area, and I want that area to appear around the guard. So that's what it's going to appear like. So if I go into that area, the guard's going to know I'm there, and it's going to be active. Now, I can't make that area any bigger, which is really a little bit annoying, but we'll stick with this particular item. Okay, and it says there that it's for this particular toy. I don't want it for this toy, so I'm going to do actor connection instead. So can I link this to an actor? But the actor has not been created. So when I do actor connection, I actually point to the enemy uh, wave generator. And what that does is, is that when it generates an enemy, they call them actors, this radar will be linked to that particular actor. Well, that's what you think it's going to be done, because what you have to do is you have to go back into the properties and tell it to not be the toy, but to be the connected actor. Yeah, so you say, I want it to go around the actor on the screen. So make sure it's switched on active, and that's, that's on set up on the screen. So all that does now is give me that radius around every one of my enemies when they appear. Now, the trigger button, dynamic tri trigger button is exactly the same thing. What we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna do actor connection, and we're gonna connect that to the enemy wave generator. So connect that to the actor. Now this, is, this button does all the particularly clever part on this part, so we're going to link that to that uh, enemy wave generator. Now going back to this particular tool, we have another options on here, let's go to properties. We don't want it this toy, 
we need to change it again to point to the actor. So I'm going to go down the list and do the connected actor. So this basically means there's a button around it. And the radius I found is about three. Uh, I'm actually going to set it to four. We could make it larger, but obviously if it's too large, then the user's not going to realize that you, you, you have to be really close. So I wanted to give the impression you've got to be reasonably close to uh, the guard. Now that will now put a button around that list. Okay, and what we're going to do now, logic connection, when a player enters it, any player enters, okay, we are going to set off the timer, which means you've just notified the guard, and the guard will now say, right, new logic connection, set the timer off, and we'll do a delay. Now, I think if you've got it on easy mode, three seconds max, I'm going to do five to give me plenty of time to show you how it works, but I would say three, four seconds, no more than five, five is too long, but I'll probably give you three seconds to be here give it a quick effect okay now what we're going to say there is when that delay is complete can you then put a signal into this logic gate so it says okay send the signal into that logic gate and what I want to do there is on logic gate of this gate can you then do on output can you go all the way across to our enemy wave generator and can you generate the wave okay so that will get the guards to start to appear straight away on that enemy now the question we've got here is, what if we defeat the guard? Yeah, what if we happen to um, kill him in time? So enemy wave generator, when defeated, what I want you to do is I want you to close the gate. So even though we've set the timer going, if that gate is closed, it won't be able to go through, so therefore won't do the guard. So if I kill him quick enough, it won't send the signal through. Right, so the other thing I need to do here is that when I do this linear logic connection, I'm going to do on open when we send the signal so on output this gate can you generate the wave okay that will start the item off now the one thing I need to be wary of here is that the guard is going to be stuck on this path and they're wandering through the path here back and forth but I, I want the guard to interact and fight with us so this there although that lets me know the guard spotted us and set the timer off I need actually another connection and the connection I need here is when you enter this by a player, any player, I want you to switch off the path tool. So can you turn that off? By switching the path tool off, it then allows the guard to interact with me. Okay, so if I do that off, the guard will stop and then will start to attack me. Okay, the only downside is that when I start this level again or, or redo it, I need to make sure I put that logic gate back on. So when I got this gate here to trigger off the uh, enemy wave generator, what I want it to do is, on output that gate, I need to actually turn on. The so we've now got to put the gate back on. So that tells us that when we press this button, not only does it generate the wave, it resets all my other logic that I might have switched off. So the other thing I've done also, is that on the output, I need to make sure I reopen that logic gate. Otherwise, once I've killed him once and I restart the level again, it's still closed. So what I want to do there is make sure that that is now reopened. So I've got three things that gate does. It starts the wave, it switches the path back on, and it opens the gate. Now, the only thing I need to do now is put a little button on and test to see if this works. So I'm just going to put a little button here. That's my test button. You see I do these quite a lot. Uh, and I'm just going to create a simple logic to put a signal into that gate. So new logic button, when pressed, can you um, input a signal? And that will reset and get everything going. Okay, so that's now done. That's ready for us to give it a go and see how this works. All right, so I'm going to quickly save it here just in case it crashes so everything's just saved. And I'm going to jump in now and go straight to the electrical level. So my guard now appears. He's got a radius around him, and there he is patrolling the guards at the top. I'm going to jump up. So you'll see here he's got a radius around him. So I instantly know if I go too close to him, something's going to happen. Yeah, the user's all aware that there's going to be a guard there and there's going to be interaction. He's aware of a radius. It'd be lovely if you could make that wider, but you can't. So I've tried everything to do that. You can't do it. So as I'm going to go through here, as I go into the, the guard, the guard will stop. He's now seen me, so I can quickly take him out and kill him. Now I did that within five seconds, so therefore the alarm has not gone off. And I've taken him out. So let's restart that again, and this time I'm going to take too long to kill him.
Now, I have to say, while practicing with this particular level, uh, just because it was Marvel and, and I'd recently seen the new Captain America film, um, what I'd realised is that it's really quite cool taking people out with a shield. So I'm going to take my time taking him out here now. So take a while. Right, the alarm's gone off. Right, I can block bottles of butters with uh, shots with a shield. And I'll take the guard out. He's gone. Right, so I've taken him, which is great. But if I turn round, uh-oh, all the alarm's gone off. All hell's let loose. I now got to attack all these guards. But I have to say, I wasn't a great fan of Captain America's character. But now that I've noticed it, the blocking the shield, uh, I quite, I think it's really quite cool. And I feel like you can run around and beat everybody up just like in the film. So I think his character is growing on me, actually. Oh, I've got a mine. Better move out of the way before that blows up. Right. I like that you can use this tool here. I'm going to beat these guys up. The fact that you can block items on the shield is quite good. Take some beating. Get out of there you go. Right, so now we've got that set up, we have to do that throughout the base. Yeah, so I've done another clip now. I'm going to jump to another stage where I've set loads more security guards up. But that's just one guard. I now need to set it up throughout the whole base. It takes a little while. So you'll see here now I've now jumped ahead and I've now built the rest of the security guards. So I've now moved my button to the front. So when I press this button, the whole guard, whole base is now going to become alive. So you now see that at the top there, to the right and to the left, I've got guards appearing. Now going through the front door is going to set the alarm off, so that's no good. So I'm going to need to sneak in. So I'm going to have to do a cap special and jump in and take these guys out. Now you could do that, by the way, where you don't have a time limit to take one guard out. You have a time limit to take them all out. So you could have one time limit that says once you take all the guards, uh, you have like 20 seconds to take the whole lot out, so you've got to rush around. Because in the films, Captain America runs through the base taking them all out. Now someone's left a, a ladder here. If I climb up here, you'll see now as I jump up, I've got more than one guard doing their patrols. So they're walking back and forth, and I've got the other base. So I need to take these guards out quickly without notifying the base. So I can run in, so as I run through... Now you can do it on the first guard being key, you can do the whole time being ticking. You've got to take the whole base out, and you've got to do it quickly. Right. Get him. He's gone. Right, so that's two down. Right, cool. Now if I jump around here, you'll now notice I've got three other guards set on the side here doing exactly the same thing. So if I jump up, now I'm too close, he stops. Let's quick take him out quickly. Right, he's gone. So there you go. That is how basically you get your security guards wandering on patrol. Uh, we can take them all out. Uh, very easy logic, but just a bit time consuming on setting it up. Now, I've got more clips coming. and Don't worry, I'm not giving up on Disney Infinity, not like Disney. Uh, I'll keep on putting on clips up there. Uh, and keep chucking in ideas that you want me to try and do. Someone's asked for a nuclear bomb. I'm trying to work out how to get that one to work. But uh, I'll keep coming up with different logics. I hope you find them enjoyable. Uh, uh, and thanks for all your support, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.